Hi, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today we are doing a happy mail. Like, yeah, way overdue. Been collecting this for a little while now. So, yeah, we are doing a happy mail today. I was originally going to do a May budget with me and a quick kind of <laughs> how my April went, but honestly, I'll just update you kind of like on the way. I decided to just do a happy mail because happy mail makes people happy and it makes me happy and I I don't want to think about how much money I just spent but we will um, we will get into that at some point maybe not in this video today is all about what I got it is my birthday month May and my birthday is on May 11th so next Wednesday will be my birthday and I'm definitely going to be scattering some giveaways this month because it's also the one year anniversary of my channel. I have to like look at my videos to see what actual day it was. I'll probably flash it on the screen here, but I'm just so happy. And I'm also coming up to, I think, uh, almost a hundred videos that I've done. So lots to celebrate and yeah so let's get right into it so there's a lot of love in these packages i basically everything i got here are from uh some of our budgeting ladies and also just planner shops that i adore so we're gonna start off with actually we'll do this one i think we'll do this one last because that kind of goes with like some of the digital stuff that I got. So we'll just do that. Okay. So first off is this one. This one, it says your happy mail has arrived and I am super excited. This package is from hands and fans and I've really been enjoying her channel and I love all her products, her scratch offs and stuff. And when she came out with this, I knew I had to have it. So let's open it. So it comes in a nice little brown envelope. And if you know anything about me, I love Zodiac. So when she came out with this, I could not resist. So it is a Zodiac. Taurus is obviously for me, for May. Uh, and I'm so excited to do this. I didn't think I looked at the amount and that's perfectly fine because I want to be surprised. So we'll see how much I saved. I figured I'd buy this because I finished Budget Cutie Zodiac Challenge and I want to try and do at least like different Zodiac challenges and uh, try them out. So when I saw this, I was like, this is perfect. So thank you so much. I really, really like it. And I will also have everybody's stuff linked down below. So we got that. And then she also included her little thank you, which has all of her uh, email, YouTube, Etsy, and Instagram. And then she sent me a thousand dollar placeholder, which is exciting because I do need more of these. So thank you so much, Alicia. I really appreciate it. So that is that. This up is from my sticker club, and this is from Carla May. And she has a sticker shop on Patreon now. So I've been really excited because she did like a little special for the people who moved from her coffee to Patreon. So I got a little extra goodies. So she includes a little quote and it says, Lauren, today is a good day to try. So I really like that. And I actually have been keeping these. I did laminate the first one. I went kind of laminator happy and I laminated this one and I had to laminate the other one but I really love her sticky paper notes. I think I'm going to be getting them sometime. I have spent so much that I'm going to say sometime, not anytime soon. But this is what the sticker kit looks like. This is actually a freebie that she had going on for people switched and also included uh, a free, pr uh, free print with those who transferred. Okay, so we did get the free 
die cut and it's I think she said this is on glossy paper and it feels very silky so that's the magical bow design that she has that I'm obsessed with completely and then <laughs> her this month was like a purple like picnic kind of theme so we have this first die cut these are like the characters that she draws and then she has a bunny dreaming on the picnic. So pretty. I definitely like switch it up from time to time. But it's so cute. And then it comes with a budget tracker. So this is adorable. I can never have too many of these. And then it comes with a little, the little sticker sheet. And then this is the other die cut. So this is like an Easter theme picnic kind of thing. Super cute. I might use might use that sticker for my May. You'll have to see what I got for that. So, and she also signed the back. So thank you so much, Carla May. I really love everything here. I really appreciate it. Keep on designing because I adore it. So there's that. Next up is actually my monthly spread. So I got this from Jalen Print Co. And she's on Etsy, but I know she also is kind of switching. So I have, this is her business card. So she has a website and then this is the back. There's like a rewards card, which I think is really cute idea. And then she also included a sample sticker pack, which I used already. And then she also has a sticker club. And then this is her note. Hello Lauren, thank you for choosing my shop and supporting my business. I hope you enjoy the stickers. I definitely do. So this is my monthly spread. How could I not? It's Sailor Moon themed. So I'm super excited. I don't, this is not a normal kit that I usually get, but oh my god, I couldn't resist. And then this is for the date dots and it also includes more like planner stuff. I'll probably end up using these and then I'm not sure about those but I will definitely get some use out of this but I'm just so obsessed like look at this so pretty so that's the monthly spread that I'm going to be doing so I couldn't do my monthly spread without showing you guys first so that's it for Jalen Paper Co. This one let's see it's peak Okay, so this one is from Erica Life Vlogs. I actually started watching her like when I first started budgeting and I've always wanted to buy some of her budget stickers. So I got some of her stickers because it she did have like a purple theme this time and I thought the flowers were perfect. If you can't tell already by my cash stuffings and my cash envelopes, I'm a very eclectic person. I just am drawn to like things that are super cute. So I don't have, I don't really have a style per se. So I don't mind that my May spread is going to be like different patterns. So this is the washi that it comes with. And then I got the debt tracker and the monthly budget of course I have to have that and then I have paycheck one and paycheck two so I'll probably use the washies with um I think with paycheck one and two I'm not sure yet but and then she included a little freebie with the payday money sign and no spend super cute thank you Erica I will definitely enjoy this next up is Brianna from Breezy Budget Shop. I She just recently got into doing planner stickers and I love supporting her. She's such a sweet gal and I definitely enjoy having conversations with her on Instagram. So when I saw these, I was like, oh, it's perfect. It will fit in with my purple theme. So I also did get um, expense stickers as well from her too. So I'm excited. Alrighty, so first off this is her little freebie. It says cash stuffing. So I will definitely use that. 
that will be so much fun to put down because I don't normally, I usually just put like piggies, but this would be cool to do. Then I got the main thing that I got from her is sinking funds and transaction log. I want to start tracking my transactions a little bit better, so maybe if I have a log for it, I will. But I was super obsessed with this iCloud lightning bolt print. I think it's so pretty. It's very mystical. I love it so much. So I, this is what I'm going to be using for my sinking funds and transaction log. And then I love that these expense stickers are so many in a sheet because the one that I had gotten before was just too little. So pink is obviously going to be for my cash envelopes. And then this one is going to be, I'm not sure yet, but I think it's going to just be like everything else. So super cute. Thank you so much, Brianna. I love them so much. So that's that. Just went on a shopping spree. Not everything was done in a month, but I've held on to it. Oops. Hopefully uh, you didn't see that. So it says thank you. And this is from a shop called Candy Chaos Studios. And she has a lot of really cute magical girl, also like Pokemon stuff. And I'm obsessed with this paper. I don't even want to get rid of it. And it feels like a parchment paper, which is awesome. And then it also has this star confetti, which is so fun. So I ended up getting these super cute Bill Do stickers from her. Because they're Sailor Moon themed. Because why not? So this is what I'll be using for my bills this month and maybe next month, depending on how many I have left. But how adorable, right? I couldn't, I couldn't resist, especially it'll go so well with my theme. And then this is her card. It says, thank you so much for choosing candy, candy chaos studios. Your support means the absolute world to me opening candy. Chaos Studios has always been a dream of mine. Your support allows me to live my dream and I think and I cherish every day that I get to create and do what I love. I hope my creation brings you joy and happiness. I'd love to hear your feedback. Please consider leaving a review and tell others of your experience here at Candy Chaos. And then it says any questions or problems, blah blah blah. Sincerely, Jesse. I love this so much and I I love re leaving reviews, so I'm a little bit behind, but I'm going to get to it. So, yay, I got that. And look how cute this receipt is. How adorable. And then this is her card. And then she also gave me little freebie stickers, which are super cute as well. I love her drawing style. And then I had to get a Pokemon Bowl that's like... Sailor Moonish themed, just kind of like a cute kawaii, and it's also I think waterproof, so I might put it. I'm not sure if I'm gonna put it on a binder or a water bottle, but that's what I got from here. Super excited! I love love it so much. All right. Oh, we got stars here. Okay, so <laughs> I love opening this. It's been, I kind of, you know, I opened it, pre-opened it just to look, but now I get to actually like really, really look at it. So this one is from, where is it? Oh my gosh. I like opened it because I didn't want to, to cut this one. It says caution items inside may cause extreme Happiness and this one is from Oh So Kawaii Designs and Brianna actually had these stickers and I I was just like I need them. They're like little gas stickers. Aren't they so cute? So this is what it looks like 
And then you just write your gas in there. It's just so cute, the little faces. I love kawaii art. It's adorable. So I got that. And then it says, thank you. We hope you enjoy these stickers as much as we enjoy making them. Your support in our small shop means so much to us. We are truly grateful for each and every person whom we are able to share this journey with. Kindly, Macy. So there we go. And then it also has follow on Oso Kawaii Designs. And that's the business card. So yay, super excited to use these now. Maybe it'll help me track having cute stickers. Not that I need them, but I think they're super cute. Okay, so now we're going to get into some of the digital stuff that I bought. So the first one is going to be my May Challenge from Mystic Budgets. And I can't wait. She said it was $90. Let's see. We'll, we'll challenge myself to do it. I love it so much. I, I like how they have like Taurus and Gemini and then the signs and the stars. Super pretty and I can't wait to do it. So that's the first one. And then now I did get a lot from Abby Tries to Budget and she changed her shop name and I think it's like ATTB Digital which I'll have it uh, linked down below. And I ordered some digital stuff as well as a seasonal savings challenge from her Etsy. But anyway, so this is her business card. <laughs> I have to blur it out just in case. The first one, I can't blur it out. But it says, thank you for your order. And then it has a discount code for me. And then this is the savings challenge. So it's for spring, like all the uh, seasons, spring, summer, um, and winter and autumn. And then she also threw in some freebies. But it comes with this really cute laminated pouch that, or laminated envelope that says four season, four season savings challenge. And then these are what the savings challenge looks like so this in spring and there's a couple like mystery ones which is like the scratch off which i thought was pretty and so i might um i'm not sure if i'm gonna check them off or i don't know it's something i would like to like reuse them so there's spring and then this is summer autumn and winter so pretty and then having an envelope with it is like perfect and then she included these two freebies which is a birthday challenge and a trick-or-treat savings challenge that you can make your own denominations for and this is a receipt <laughs> and then I got all these digital savings from her these are printables and so first one is Vacation Savings Challenge, and it has a 900, 1,855, and then a blank one. Then I also, I did buy her Trick or Treat Challenge, and then the other one is 255. So I'm not sure if I'm going to use this one or if I'm going to use the, like, blank one for, but this one's definitely going to go for my Halloween envelope. And then, I know, I went a little nuts. And then I got a Christmas savings challenge. And this one has a blank one, a 225, a 450, a 750, and a 1125. So I think I might make this as like a little like extra like fun kind of savings challenge, maybe to like get me to my goal quicker. We'll see. And then I got what are odds and let's make it evens so it's an odds and evens challenge and I thought this would be fun in the envelopes where I don't particularly have fun stuffing so I thought this would be a fun way so that's 225 for the odds and 240 for the evens and that is the end of that from Abby tries to budget and then 
These ones are some free savings challenges that I got from Budgeted for Later. So this one is a savings challenge prompt and it gives you different prompts and you have to go um, in your living space and figure out. So like this one says, let's spoon. It's the number of clean spoons multiplied by three. And then however much you have is what you save. I probably won't start this anytime soon, but I really liked it and I wanted to print it out. She does have a color version too. And this one, which I'm super excited, is the May Saver, the Debt Cure. So I will probably, I have been doing the 100 envelope challenge and I plan to kind of use this and that um, together. So you'll just have to wait and see how I do that. But this is the other little freebie from her and it's always linked in her videos. I will have her channel linked down below. And that's it. That's all of my happy mail. I know it was a lot. But it has been collecting for a little while and I didn't want to show like show you guys without having most of it. I do actually have a little bit more coming in. But this is pretty much I wanted to show you majority of it because I will be setting up my May calendar. I'm a little bit behind, so but I want to show you guys all the cute things that I got. I'm super excited and you will see how much <laughs> I spent on this stuff in my cash stuffing, which will be Sunday. So I hope you enjoyed this video of this huge haul, which honestly never happens. I usually just have a couple things here and there. Um, so yeah, thank you so much for watching this video. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up comment down below and also um, subscribe if you are not already subscribed. I will do the question of the day. I've been liking that so much. Today is the 4th. May the 4th be with you, by the way, for all my Star Wars fans. Okay, so the question is, what question would you most what question would you most liked answered? What? I don't like that one. Let's pick another one. That's too much to think right now when it's late at night. Let's do the third. Okay. Oh man. What are you saving for? What are you saving your money for? I feel like we all could answer this in like different ways. I have many different envelopes for different savings, but the ones that I'm concentrating on at the moment is my vet expenses for Enzo, uh, travel, and Christmas, and there's one more. Oh, and anime conventions. So that's what I'm saving my money for. What are you saving for? at the moment, like what's your most, um, like your highest priority. I would love to know in the comments down below and I will see you next time. Bye.